chief guest dr n panchanathan former vice chancellor of tamil nadu teachers university vice president and director dr susan vagis principal dr tirumagan deputy director dr vijay philip vice principals faculty members dear parents and most importantly the pillars of our future the graduates of the hindustan college of arts and science and members of the media i won't take too much time to complete my address so if you can bear with me i will continue this is a very important occasion a solemn occasion i have been on both sides more on that side and i remember what i used to do we are very impatient at this age we are restless we are full of energy and we want to do so many things when we go out into the world so there is one uh, prayer and wish for me that you continue your restlessness and your enthusiasm when you are outside the campus in your work field and in your careers that is very important don't lose that quality many of us after we go into the workplace first few years we are full of enthusiasm when we are 40 or 45 50 years old we are already spent we don't know the technology what is there we have to learn a lot we have to continue learning so this is my only prayer for all of you all the wonderful graduates who are leaving the portals of this institution today i have to welcome our distinguished chief guest dr panchanathan a very eminent and accomplished academician and administrator an innovative leader he has been heading the tamil nadu teachers university teacher education university so you all know what that responsibility is and uh, i'm sure such a distinguished person is somebody you should follow and take ideas and listen to his advice today and the respect that they deserve is very important this institution the hindustan college of arts and science is one among the prestigious institutions in the hindustan group established in 95 1995 by our great visionary founder chairman my father dr k c g vargas your institution affiliated to madras university has a long track record a very successful one and why because of the dynamic leadership provided by our director dr susan vargas your principal dr thirumagan deputy director dr philip and the vice principals the deans and the hods for the progress of the college in the past 28 years you have celebrated your silver jubilee now this is your silver jubilee graduation day i would like to congratulate all of you all the graduates the faculty members and your parents who have strived hard to provide you this education your parents need to be applauded and thanked for providing you an opportunity you will remember this day throughout your life for having at least earned one degree many of our fellow citizens do not have the means to get even this degree so you are the few lucky ones 
who have been able to cross the portals of your higher education. I am told that your college has 17 undergraduates, 7 postgraduate and 3 PhD programs and is privileged to be one of the 5 top institutions among the colleges affiliated to Madras University with more than 4,000 students on the campus. This shows the acceptance of the institution in the community. And today, in our 28th year, we are proud that you have reached this milestone. And we would like to congratulate all of you on this achievement. We continue to serve society in keeping with the vision of our founder chairman to make every man a success and no man a failure. The establishment of the Hindustan Community College under the guidelines of our founder shows the exemplary commitment to provide technical and skill-based education for the underprivileged students and uh, instilling in them the confidence to achieve extraordinary deeds. I'm sure there are many examples of that. I'm not going into that. Our KCG Charitable Foundation, established in 2007 after the passing of our late founder, has been sponsoring thousands of students for higher education, offering medical aid, and conducting many other charitable activities for the needy. This year, the foundation is rewarding 36 rank holders of the Hindustan College of Arts and Science with the cash price of over 2.5 lakhs. I congratulate all the Madras University rank holders and the recipients of the gold medals and congratulate the department HODs also for their commendable achievement. Your college has been ranked in the ninth position among the best arts and science colleges in India as per the India Today ranking. It is not a simple achievement and you have to be proud of the institution and yourself because you are going to carry this laurel on your shoulders. And it is more a responsibility for you to say that you are proud of this institution. We have got more than 140 expert faculty members, mostly qualified with NET and PhD, and some of them are pursuing their postdoctorate fellowship and dedicated to research activities in their respective fields. I also wish that many new courses be added and more students reach greater heights in the field of research. And to this extent, I would like the principal to go and uh, try to complete the QS ranking, which is an international ranking. And not many institutions know the importance of the QS ranking. And it will be good, in addition to all your other achievements that you are, and what you are planning to accomplish in this coming year, you take up this also. And I'm sure you will be the only institution in Tamil Nadu or maybe even in India to achieve this ranking for an arts and science college. So please try to work towards this achievement. My hearty congratulations to the NCC, NSS, YRC units for their participation and playing a dynamic role in bringing laurels to the college. You all have got many awards, accolades in the past three years. I'm sure you're all proud of that. And the institution's role is merely to play a facilitator's role in that and to guide you and channelize you in the right direction. I'm sure leadership is not a commodity which is available with everyone. And institutions like ours 
are the platform where you are honed to be leaders, to get qualities of leadership. You have to have many other qualities. One of them is discipline. The other is interest in your field of study and many other such qualities you have to possess to be a leader. I'm sure there will be many, many role models in the next 25 years from this institution. So I'm sure that we will wait uh, for another 10, 20 years to see eminent scientists, leaders, coming out of this uh, graduates. And I'm sure I see the potential in all of you. And you will not fail your alma mater. If you have read a proverb, if you give man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. But we at Hindustan believe that you receiving an education entails a responsibility to apply information wisely, improve the world, and make sure that future generations have the same chance to develop, achieve success, and set high standards. The highly successful model of HCAS with its sporting, cultural, and intellectual opportunities, and unparalleled emphasis on nurturing the individual is largely the cause for the successful development of our students. And this was done many, many years before the new education policy was envisaged and brought out. This was what our founder believed in, to give holistic education. And that is what now the government intends to provide. Multiple entry and multiple exit is one of the key features of the policy. The aspiration to excel, serve society, has stood the college well and must stand as a beacon for the future. We are in an enviable position, but for all our strengths and achievements, Reputations are hard won and easily lost. To retain our position as a leading institution, we should continue striving for excellence, measured by international standards, but while retaining the core values of academic education in all that we do. We are proud to be a diverse and student-centered, globally engaged institution offering high-value education. We are proud that what we do matters. We know that we transform and change lives. We know that our students succeed as they compete with the best in the nation for their jobs. They succeed because our students are among the best. The measure of our college is the quality of students who graduate and what those students achieve the impact each has beyond the boundaries of this campus. I wish that all our students are placed in leading organizations in the years to come and that each and every student of the Hindustan College of Arts and Science will continue their outstanding professional achievements and look forward with confidence to the future, guided by the values that we share across the Hindustan group of institutions. Many of you will go into your careers and there will end your academic pursuits. Now at Hindustan University, we are having a focus on digital education, on online education. As for the Government of India policy, we are offering many online degree programs. I'm sure when you don't have time to leave your jobs, you should think of a 
career in uh, one of these programs that are offered online. Well, we have read in the news that India aims to be among the top three nations globally. How will we achieve a seven trillion economy to be among the global three? Now we are in the global five. So we are sure that all the youth of our nation are going to take this forward. The number of startups that are there in our country, though significant in number, is not sufficient. Our founder used to say, don't be job seekers, create jobs, create employment. And you all have the potential, you all have the dynamism, and I'm sure you will take our economy beyond 7 trillion also. With the policies that are there in the government, I'm sure nobody knows what they are. Nobody is following these things. Students have to build their knowledge to understand many of these things that are happening in our country. Why electric vehicles? are being introduced, why the duty is being reduced from 70% to 15%. Why is there a thrust on electric vehicles? And when there are electric vehicles, you have totally different jobs. You have a different generation of uh, different uh, job qualifications that are required. And I'm sure you are prepared for that. Some of you are not aware of it. But I'm telling you that our world is not going to be what it is in the years to come. What you take for granted is not going to be there. You all know what is VUCA. Volatility and then whatever else is something that we don't know. Not even the scientists, the meteorologists can predict what is going to happen in our city. Even this year they cannot predict. Leave alone after five years. Your sustainable development goal program of the United Nations is not on paper. It has to be in the ground. It has to be implemented in the ground by every citizen. If you want to achieve something for your next generation, the institutions, the faculty, the students, the graduates, the alumni, the industry, all have to contribute to this. We are now wanting to take our GDP to 7 trillion. At what cost? Are you going to destroy our uh, economy or by our uh, climate or uh, destroy our seas or rivers? This cannot be at the cost of any of this. So you, we need a knowledge economy, one that will be very sure of what it is creating, not destroying. So I'm sure these words should echo in your ears, at least uh, till the end of this program. Always remember, education is the most powerful weapon that can change the world. And I believe that you will unleash your potential for the welfare of mankind. Henry Ford said, many of you know who Henry Ford is. He was a once upon a time, a great automobile manufacturing giant in the United States and globally. Do you see any Ford cars now? Very few. Well, he said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young and younger. 
God bless and congratulations to each one of you. Thank you.